Thanks, Chris. And if the cold weather inspired you to get a plane ticket heading south, you might want to rethink that, at least for this weekend anyway. A lot of people on the West Coast who almost never see snow are dealing with it right now. New at 6, meteorologist Matt Gray is here to show us what's happening with a historic storm, Matt. Yeah, and this is, uh, whew, this is really something. So Southern California, we think of beaches, palm trees, warm weather. And for this weekend, at least, snow up in the mountains at least. This I-5 between LA and Bakersfield this morning, it is shut down just like many other mountain highways in the region, partially thanks to the Arctic cold that was stuck over in the Northwest. A powerful storm came out of that and drove down the West Coast this week. It is going to pass over Southern California on Saturday. And with this storm comes a dangerous combination of snow and high winds in those higher elevations as the storm moves over. Get this, blizzard warnings, the blue color you see there, in effect for the mountains overlooking LA. And for some of these mountain ranges, this is the first one they have on record, the National Weather Service, that is. Winter storm warnings, by the way, they go all the way down to the Mexican border. Several feet of snow expected to fall in these mountains north of LA by the time it is all over. Plus, you've got the Sierra as well, and there are already three major interstate closures in California right now because of the snow. A lot of people getting cut off from travel to other states. And even though there's not going to be snow down in the big cities, it is still going to be a pretty weird weekend. L.A. under flood warnings right now, and up in San Francisco, there are frost and freeze alerts on the coast. It's only going to be... A few degrees warmer, really about 16 degrees warmer than Spokane tomorrow, Los Angeles that is. Normally, we're talking about anywhere between 26 and even 30 degrees warmer at this time of the year. So if you're looking for a sunny place to run away from winter, we all kind of are here at this point in the year, maybe head south to Florida instead. They hit 90 degrees in Fort Myers yesterday. That's about two months before they usually do. Kirsten.